Hello and welcome to Texi Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss whether should we learn pure JavaScript or not. In the world of frameworks like Angular and React, uh, if you're starting out and if you are trying to, your ultimate goal is to learn uh, one of the frameworks, is it important to learn pure JavaScript as well since you're spending all the time and energy in it? And if you do, then what part in pure JavaScript should you focus on? And what part you should ignore the part that is covered by the framework basically i know a lot of my viewers ask me this question pretty much on a daily basis so i thought it's a, an important topic to discuss but before we do that let's understand what is a pure javascript a good example would be let's say if i'm trying to access an element i would usually say uh, document dot get uh, element by id and I'll pass the name of the element, let's say my ID or something. So this is an example of pure JavaScript because get element ID is native JavaScript function. Now I can do the same thing using jQuery in this format. I can say pound mint ID and I can just say my ID. This would work as well, but I have to include the jQuery library. Uh, this is not pure JavaScript. So that's the main difference. Anything that is natively available in JavaScript, it's called pure vanilla JavaScript. The funny thing is vanilla is actually a flavor. It's not pure, but somehow people use it to describe pure JavaScript. First, I would split the entire JavaScript population into two kinds. The one who builds um, a JavaScript library or frameworks, you know, and you already know that on GitHub, you have like tons of libraries and frameworks available. And People who build them, they need to have a solid knowledge of pure JavaScript because uh, they have to build in pure JavaScript. However, the consumer, the people who use those library to build their projects, what about them? For example, let's say if you're using Angular, uh, which is a framework, what does it do and how much pure JavaScript you need to know if you are going to use Angular? Angular helps you build overall single page application. It helps you build routers, uh, components. You can write services uh, that you can inject to it and uh, consume it and all that stuff, right? So overall, it helps you update your DOM automatically. In old days, we used to do uh, using jQuery, we would you know, find an element by ID or class or whatever, and then we would modify text of the element manually. And when you have to update, you have to update it, delete it, and all that stuff, right? Th those processes are done seamlessly uh, by the frameworks nowadays. So you don't have to do all of this stuff. So any kind of a DOM manipulation you used to do, you don't have to do anymore. Very rarely you have to do, uh, for example, if you're writing a test in a particular environment where you have to get a particular element uh, either by class or ID or data test ID, you have to use selectors. So that's probably the only areas you have to use it. But otherwise, you don't have to do any DOM manipulation. Within individual components, you have to write the core logic of what this component is going to do. For that, you have to use pure JavaScript, which means you have to you know define variables, use loop, use functions, error functions, uh, classes, set timeout, closures, uh, pretty much all the JavaScript you don't have to think too much about is the scoping because you cannot really manipulate the global scope that easily that you were able to do before. And nowadays we use transpilers, which means we would write only in the latest version of JavaScript and it would transpile to ES5 or whichever version you like. So you don't have to d deal with the var. You can just use let and const. So there is no hoisting to worry about. However, however, if you go to an interview, they would ask you all the silly questions uh, on pure JavaScript and even manipulating DOM. So for that particular reason, you probably have to learn that as well. Now you can say that, okay, I'm using frameworks. So I don't have to uh, manipulate the DOM. But if your interviewer asking something, you have to give an answer. Also, when you're trying to debug, let's say you get stuck on something and you have to debug inside the console. Now the console, you would see older version of JavaScript because of the transpilers. Uh, so you would have to deal with it. So overall, you still have to learn pure vanilla JavaScript. My advice to you for those who wanna jump into any framework, 
uh, first try to use the latest version of JavaScript, uh, ES6, because that is most relevant in today's age. At least get yourself familiarized with all the uh, the latest tricks uh, that are being used, and then start learning framework. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Thank you.